Some people are just crazy, episode three. All right, well, this big-headed man behind me is William Lowe, and if you're looking for crazy, look no further than my home state here in Florida. Oh, and what he decided to do was to shoot his wife, cut her up into little pieces, put her body in a suitcase, and throw her out in the sea. Well, what he doesn't realize is that the tides come in, and when they came in, uh, a suitcase was found with part remains of a human being in them. Police immediately look for the other evidence and they were able to find two more suitcases the following day they found two more for a total of five suitcases but they weren't able to identify the person they actually used witness and surveillance footage to figure out who he was what they did was they saw a tag on one of a car driving back and forth frequently with the suitcases put that tag to his address which came up to her name now, her name was Barbosa Fontes, and inside the suitcase, they had found a um, luggage tag that said Barbosa Fontes. They didn't have the F for Fontes. So that led them to the house. They went to the house. They had the search warrant. They went in. Well, while they're in there, who sneaks through the back window? None other than Mr. William Lowe. Well, he's sneaking through the back window trying to um, get something uh, as police are finding that there is... Um, DNA and blood evidence inside the home, they catch him sneaking in. When confronted, he's like, oh, I was getting my cell phone and um, the keys to my storage unit. They're like, huh, keys to storage unit, you say? So what do they do? They drive to said storage unit and find pieces of hair on a chainsaw and more DNA evidence. Needless to say, he shot her apparently, and then dis to dispose of their body, he cut her up with a chainsaw in his storage unit. Welcome to Florida. Next up, we have the guy sitting behind me. Now, he's currently handcuffed for a crime that he committed, which was murdering 10 young men. How did he do these crimes? Well, he would go to a field and he would lure them into the woods by claiming that he was a soccer coach um, and anything to really get them to go in there. And at that point, he would murder them via, via strangulation, via beating them to death. And then in some cases, he even admitted to drinking their blood. Well, a few days after he got put in prison, he escaped. How did he escape? Well, for some reason, the police and the guards decided to assist him in escaping. Maybe he knew them. I'm not entirely sure. But either way, the families of those people were none too happy with him, and they decided to take justice into their own hands, at which point they proceeded to beat him to death. And